Oh, I think we're back. I think we're back. I'm not sure. I'm sorry if we're all sitting around with dead air right now, folks. We uh, mm -hmm. we had a little speed bump there. We did. It's called the internet. It is. Um, oh, it says we started a live video. Yeah, so we're back. We're back. We're sorry, back. guys. Are we you back? May, some of you may need Hi. to repost your questions because we've been kind of getting them as, as best sequentially as we can. And, uh, but we're not keeping up. Well, I'm. I for I don't know about you, but I don't have my history there anymore. Of what some oh, of the other I ones are. Oh, I have the history. I have oh, the history. Yeah. Doing okay. That's good. So we are good. Anyway, okay. um, now I don't. I, I was asked as I, to. Well, no, Carl. Oh, I was finish your, finish your, yeah, yeah, my apologies. So, really cool. I, said, I didn't realize until right before directing Kai that it was an issue. Really, that it was a big thing, and and uh, especially I think my kid pointed out because he was there was a. Uh, rapper that used it. Oh, <laughs> we're talking about eight thousand, nine thousand. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. Okay. So basically, I think if I'm not mistaken, I think the producer pushed for it to be eight thousand in Kai, which hasn't been released. Interesting. And I we didn't were like, know this. "Are you kidding? People are gonna like hunt They'll you freak down. Out. Yeah, they're gonna hunt you down." And the purists Why would won't they like say that. that? <laughs> Why would they do that? It makes you wonder sometimes. What's the point of having eight rather than nine? Well, nine because is I, more. apparently that was the original, from. and nine thousand was a mistranslation. <gasps> And that became a thing. Uh, so the I OJ, didn't bought. so it was eight thousand in the OJ. In the OJ? Apparently, do we this have anybody who can please, corroborate this? Yeah, yeah please do. I've always wanted to. Hi, have Nate. The, yeah, have the, uh, you know. I know the jury in on this. I, I know. Does anybody out there in knowing more about Anime Land than we do um, have any idea whether the original was in fact eight? God. Guys, I feel it's gotten very quiet. It has, yeah. I know. Sorry, I'm trying to get... We're all a little bit upset. Okay. I've got... Yeah. 8,000, 9,000. Where's it going? Oh, I don't know. How does it feel know. being part of everyone's childhood, including mine? Wow, creepy. honored. It feels creepy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> you know what is really weird for me? Working with a lot of, you know, working at the studio, and I've been there a long time now, there's a lot of the engineers there who watched the cartoons when they were kids. And oh, my God. That's, that's so cool. It's freaking weird. It's really absolutely cool. weird. It's amazing. It makes um, you feel really old. <laughs> I was asked who, what it was like to play uh, Super Majin Buu, Kid Buu, and the other Buu. I, only, I played All Super... Oh, I, did, I, I played the two main Buus, uh, Majin, Super Majin Buu and Kid Buu. Scott McNeil played the fat Buu. So um, what was it like? It was incredible. Yeah. It was probably one of the most hands down vocally demanding roles I've ever played just for this, the sheer longevity of the sessions. In the day, we used to run four to six hour record session blocks, getting many, many, many episodes out of the way. And uh, it got to the point where I had to make sure that that booking would be on a Friday. So I had two days of healing to get my voice back after like literally tearing mountains apart. So <laughs> uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a huge creative process, but um, yeah, vocally demanding. Woof, to say the least. Crazy. Great hey, time though. Uh, this just in. Yep. Uh, Carl, would you like to report? This one? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Tell somebody, somebody, let's talk about who, who well, gave somebody us asked, this info. I know Munson. Somebody asked twice about the anime, the, the dubbing, the scripts for Dragon Ball Z. Oh, I thought we were mean? talking to 8,000, 9,000. Oh, just that, that, some... that's just, we should finish, yeah. Yeah, we should. Everybody's chimed in that it's 8,000 in the original, which is what I was, what I thought. So. And what Brian Drummond was, well, what Brian Drummond was right. shooting for 9,000 because that's what that was popular. Yeah, Brian, but okay. But the producer was say, saying, well, 8,000 because that was the original, he wanted to fix it. I've been next to Brian Drummond at a convention, and when he's screaming 9,000. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, he's Oh, not, oh that, he's was, not, that was a, that was, he's he's he bleeds, I think. He's not backing down. No, and, you know. I mean, not at all. He, he no holds barred. So the big question is, should we, should it be amended to be more accurate or go with the go with the You name? tell us, everybody. I know. I know. tell Brian Drummond? Chime in if you have an answer We should get him on the phone. We should call him. Hi, Alex. We should just change it. It's Thanks over 42. <laughs> and just leave it at that. <laughs> it's over. I joined again. Everyone's joined. Welcome back, y'all. 70. <laughs> <laughs> I hope everyone's back now. I'm just going to just check so It seems like it. We've, think, had answers, so. we've had answers to that. Yeah. Uh, um, so since Kirby Morrow did not get the part of Goku yes. in Kai, did he get any other role? I wondered if he might have voiced Bardock, father of Goku, in the flashback. Hmm, this is one for Carl. There we go, Carl. That's, I don't remember. I don't think he did. It hurts when we don't remember. Kenny, can you Google that? Okay. Yeah. Please. Don't We're sweat it, Munson. I don't know who did Bardock. I'm trying to remember now. In Kai. 
Nate Munson, oh, we're it, just so happy to have you here with us. Sam Gould has uh, chimed in and says, I have manga somewhere. It's 8,000. Yeah. It's 8,000. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the original was 8 or 85, but he says. People yeah, at <laughs> conventions across North America are probably screaming 9,000. I'm just saying. Yeah. Well, what did the Texas cast do? Oh, I don't know. I don't Michael know. McConnell, the 88, saying that. original line was over 8,000. Yeah. So, okay. Yes, I love Stephanie Nadolny too. She is awesome. She's a lot of fun. I've gotten to meet her. See, she was voicing the character while we were still recording up here. Am Ooh. I right? I think. Or was it after? I don't know, because I know somebody said, hey, I'm Facebook friends with Stephanie Nadolny and she wants to meet you. And I was like, the, oh, who's that? And they said, she does your character. I was like, oh, that's so cool. And we became Facebook friends and just sort of watched each other's lives, which are sort of parallel. She's a singer as well. Um, and uh, But she has blonde hair and I have gray hair. So that's how that went. And <laughs> I think she might be a little bit younger than me. Um, but she uh, is awesome and so much fun. And we've gotten to meet her at a couple of conventions. Mm -hmm. yeah. Super nice. Yeah, very nice lady. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Willems, I, uh, let me rephrase the question. Yeah, I was just looking at that one. Do you want to mm -hmm. go ahead on that? I'll do my best. The, what, was Our the translation for DBZ done by Toei, or did Ocean do the translation in-house? I think typically the translation is done in-house, but with client approval. That's always the case. Almost always uh, the case. Always client approval. So they, yeah. you know, uh, scripts get done, sent for approval, <clears> and then they come back, and they're, then they're final. So that is how that would have gone, I think. It always wow. is. But it's still just one of the early stages of tweaking that stuff. Well, yeah. I mean, then things have to for potentially fit after. But in terms of content. Yeah. Yep. yeah but I, we, mean, I feel like we sometimes would colloquial... Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, colloquialize? Yeah, yeah, probably not DBZ, because Barry would have come down on some. <laughs> Barry. I don't know. I think there were still a couple moments. For I mean, for a character did, like Gohan... Did they write their own scripts for DBZ? I mean, I don't remember. Funny. Yeah, no, I'm not sure. Oh, controversy. You know what? Something I think to think I think actually Funimation may have written their own scripts. Uh-huh. I'm not 100 percent sure. Good, good question. It's been too long. I love yeah. it. Uh, Melissa, you used to sneak out at twelve years old to watch DBZ because it only aired at two AM in the morning. That is the only time it airs, she says. And I, oh my gosh. I didn't know this story with you. And now I you, you just gained even more respect. That's, that's that great. is kind of amazing. That's great. Yeah. Oh, G.I. Joe. I would really enjoyed oh, wow. recording. Uh, I'm just being asked if I enjoyed recording the G.I. Joe Spy Troops Val uh, Valor versus Venom movies back in the day. And yes, I certainly did. But I, uh, <laughs> it was cool. We were playing army. It was great. Playing I, armies. You know, <laughs> once a man, twice a child factor. I don't know. It's pretty <laughs> so good. Crazy. I like that. Um, yeah, there's more confirming the 8,000 in Japanese. And Michael McArnold um, is asking you a question there. Do you know who played Cell, Future Trunks, and Krillin in the ocean dub of Dragon Ball Kai? Ah, How good question. I, I, I haven't got that at my fingers. No yet. pressure, Carl. I don't remember. Yeah. How's the Googling going, Kenny? Do I we can. have any news? And the problem is it hasn't been, that hasn't been, if it probably you know, hasn't been released, so. Some information is is pretty... I, I seem to recall... Oh. Yep, Drummond also Krillin. did the Friday bookings to recover. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, in the but in Kai. Yes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's wait a, a fine minute. question. I did, I'm just want to throw out the name Terry Clausen. He was the first one. Okay. First run. Yeah. And then I think it might have been voice matched in the other one, but I don't recall who. And I'm giving you a shout out that I am impressed, David, because it is 12 a.m. in Tanzania as we speak. Yeah. Yeah. Huge kudos. Thanks for, thanks for staying with us, my brother. We're honored. We're honored. What time yeah. is it, guys? 12.14. Oh, 12.14. Now, are we going to take a break, or should we just not take a break? I don't know. It's so so far, this stuff's rolling I'm just so well. We, these guys. Let, let's just yeah. enjoy it for okay. a while. Well, I is Alex. Alex, are you here? Are you here? I, I want to sign your um, My Little Pony. Uh, you can totally right sign here. that right I now. I know, but I want mm -hmm. Alex to be here for that. Okay, well, we'll wait. We can wait. Is that okay? Are you here, Alex? If you're here, you can chime in. Send and us then a it sign. Can happen right about Turn now. the lights off or something. Uh, do the producers of Kai make uh, you change pronunciation of any word? Cyan, for example, could be Cyan or Cian. 
Um, Saiyan. Saiyan is what we were. Uh, I only remember Saiyan. I hope yeah. that was right. Yeah, Super Saiyan. Powers. Well, that's what we would have been. After Kamehameha, we wouldn't I don't, have been I don't know a, anything. Well, that was become, Super Saiyan I remember powers. the Kamehameha because Kamehameha. Super Saiyan, Saiyan powers. That was a. That wasn't. Our call. It was a producer call. That was a producer call. There's no way it would have. We, we never would have let you that. down. No. There's no way. No. no. I mean, I know it's originally a, a Hawaiian term, I believe. Yeah, we should have called Hawaii, not the producer. <laughs> That's because you're getting kudos producer. for that one now. That's awesome. So for mentioning the nine thousand thing. Oh, the the nine thousand. Sex yeah. pictures, pleasure. Yeah, These no, things it's, are important. Yeah, it's you know. <laughs> There's there's so much that goes into oh, okay. these things. So, yeah, very interesting. Marjorie, thanks for joining us. Well, there's also such an incredible fandom for Dragon Ball that for, for that franchise. I I feel like it goes to the ends of the internet. So many yeah. people know so much and are so invested in those characters, are yeah. invested in the, the original Japanese recordings, our recordings, the Texas recordings. Like, it's, it's incredible. It yeah. is. Really kind of, Jovan, I'm laughing with your thing. I'm, I'm screaming the over 9,000. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Want well, to hear me? The person who asked about the uh, <laughs> Sarah Strange or Richard Goss question didn't uh, lost their connection during that. So. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's, shall we reiterate? Yeah, quickly? in a nutshell, it was, in a nutshell. It was tough because uh, it was a f fairly different voice tone, but we had to match the character. And I think it was just a matter of getting Richard to match it but then turn it into something that made it his own and have the spirit of the character so it was a it was a fair bit of work but i think it was a really good transition mm -hmm. them being you know different genders would be yeah and, yeah yeah Talk about and Handy having the director here for totally these questions totally different voices oh and sarah God. having the deeper voice sarah had the deeper voice that's the interesting thing yeah i was assuming their voices were super different but it sounds like richard had had to work hard to it was the spirit it was the attitude it was absolutely really what got him the part was just he had that that rama attitude mm -hmm. oh so we got a nice compliment here it says oh my god this is from melissa gill she's a good friend oh. uh oh my god is Afron, i sing too i'm loving you more oh let's sing together <laughs> <laughs> this woman has an incredible voice Aww. and uh, while you've got some genes girl i have there's music in the family this uh i'm not sure mm. if you all know about uh who I'm sitting next to here. You'd uh, have to be Canadian of a certain vintage to You think so? Really? Well, I, I think it's fairly yeah. well known. You gotta, anyway. Anyway. It's a secret band we're thinking about. It's a secret. Right <laughs> <laughs> You're so secret. Super secret. Hey, um, Carl, can I have my white pen, please? Yeah. Um, I don't think Alex is here. I'm devastated. Are you gonna go, you're going to go for it? You can, you can wait a little longer. Should I wait? You. Maybe I'll wait until lunch, because that's when I said I would sign right. stuff. Where are um, you fans of the DBC abridged series from Lizzie? The what Hedgehog. is that? What is that? I know, right? Guys, we're on our break. We're supposed to film a little TikTok. Can okay. I can I film us right now instead? Yes. I don't know how I... Uh, She's allowed to do that. Yes, everybody? That's okay. Let me see that. Yeah. Oh, by yeah, the way, somebody's right. pointing out that uh, Barry was involved in the first 53 episodes and the TV version Tree of Might. That oh. Right. Yeah. Little little uh, uh, tidbit, uh, uh, me and the engineer at the time, Rob Krang, yeah. and Barry Watson, went on a guy trip down to Mexico back in those days. That's yeah. fantastic. That that is hilarious. Kind of That's the difference with Barry, right? That's that Barry, was fun. No, Barry, Barry took us curling for a cast party. <laughs> he took us curling on the North Shore of Vancouver, and I probably still have a groin injury from that, but it was amazing. I thought curling was going to be very easy. Yeah. So did Barry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think we... Sam Gold's asking, you say, involved. wasn't Barry only involved with, like, season one or something? And, and then uh, somebody after said the first 53, so I think that's... It feels like he right. was involved for He was involved a lot. He was... He came up here. Yeah. He had a place here that he was, was at regularly. On the he North came Shore. to see me sing in a lounge. Yeah, I, I went with him. Yeah. yeah. We went with like, yeah. him. We had good times with Barry. Yeah, well, see, that trip to guy. Mexico was insane. It was what? fun. <laughs> you yeah. can't beat that, really. And it's very rare in this industry that yeah. all of a Barry was fluent uh, Spanish, and Rob what? and I weren't. That's great. And Barry took the opportunity to just screw around with us all the time. That is fantastic. But, I could only imagine what he would do. But Barry a was a cheap drunk, which was, made, was fun for us. So oh, you that. took full advantage That's of that, hilarious. didn't you? How about all the tequila, Barry? Do you know that at KameaCon, I got to go out for dinner with Barry Watson? Oh, nice. Yes. I got to hang with him in the restaurant that time, which was very yeah. nice. That was yeah. him and his wife. It was wonderful. Guy. Wonderful people. That was in April. Oh, just End recently. April. recently. Oh, okay, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Last was... time I saw him, I think he was up here. Yeah. He was, I think he was best man at Terry's wedding. 
Oh my gosh. He and Krillin, okay. Laura right. Watson and Krillin are super good buds. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I am being asked for a while now for if uh, Sam Gould, 53, can I do a globber in time? Well, of course I can. Come on, man, stick, let's get out of here. It is clobber in time. Boomsticks. That was a big one. That was, I'm sorry, it was a little bit louder. I think I may have spent. <laughs> Poor Kenny. Kenny, he's got a new hair pot. They call it a spit take. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, there's your clobber in time. They came in in season two. What have we got else here? How do I do this TikTok thing? Okay. How can it be just, done? Uh, yeah. just, 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 we're just going to just take a quick second here. Hey, TikTok, here we are. We're live on here. Here's our, hey, Hello. it's Carl. Hi. Carl Willems, voice director. And it's, hey, TikTok. How's it going? Brian Dobson here. It's Brian Dobson, voice actor. This is amazing. We've got people on our live and we've got Kenny in the house. Hey. Kenny is an helping audience us with the everything. Audience. Yeah, he's helping us with everything technical and he's a moderator. <laughs> and Reed is a moderator online and we just feel uh, super happy to be here. We've got these little prints and things and little toys ones and big to ones. sign and we've got special pens to Pops. sign them with. You know, uh, hang out with us on Instagram. Oh, yeah. Yeah, anime.time.machine. Okay, bye. Nicely done. Did you see what she just did? Uh, oh. I really killed it. <laughs> I hate doing that stuff because I'm not um, naturally funny. So, okay. All right, we're done. That is enough of that. TikTok, I love uh, you. Uh, <laughs> Sally, do one thing. I'm going to get back on our live here. Oh, my God. There's a lot of, lot of Dragon Ball casting... Uh, Questions? Um, no, not questions. Was it's Sam Vincent Kai so right. as Krillin, maybe, it says? Just a theory? I can't remember oh, if Sammy theory, was... Yeah. I oh, possibly? I don't mm. think so. Oh, Someone qu hit the credits quick. Crap, now i got to ask. I'm going to find charge. that out. It says, well, six pictures saying, our theory was Sam Vincent was Krillin, so it could be. Could if, be. I'm gonna, yeah. Sammy will be like, what are you called, Dobson? You should know this. I'm going to uh, talk to the casting people and find out. Oh, Al, Al, I know Alistair Abel, yeah, uh, played Future Trunks. In, yeah, I remember, yes. I remember Dale Al, Wilson played Cell. I remember Al doing Trunks, but was that in original run, or was it both? Or most I you think the original run. Well, I original, think. I think for sure. I remember that. Kenny, can I borrow your charger, please? Hey, Kenny. I'm going to charge it here. Actually, don't worry about it, Kenny. Oh. Uh, do you need a standard charger? Like, yeah. iPhone? Let me give you this. We're just charging Sorry, stuff. Sorry, it's embarrassing. Right no, 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 I want to no, be not. able to read Come everybody's back. comments. Yourself. My um my iPhone eight is uh floundering. Is it floundering? <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, what else we got here? Future trucks, blah blah blah. It's past nine o'clock in the evening here in Serbia. I showered her. I'm, <laughs> right, super, yeah, I'm super impressed with oh, you people who it's nine and two in the morning for. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. We feel honored. Thanks for joining Natalie Dimples. So yes. apparently Alistair was in the original. Yes, group. that makes sense. Wow, this is all coming down here. I'm, I'm trying to keep my eye on line over the screen here, but I'm looking down because i got so many I know, I stuff know. is coming I in. I finally caught up. Uh, is there a chance you ever uh, dub the newest series, Dragon Ball Super? What, is there a chance? That is for... Ocean could. That is for people that aren't me to decide. Mm. But we'll let you make the decision, Carl, if you like. I, I'm sure. <laughs> I'd love to. I would, I would, we would like that love too. to. But, yeah. Yes, absolutely. That's that's politics that I'm not involved in. Politics and economics. Politics. Econ oh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, we love to. Oh, man, that sucks. I miss, I miss yeah. that universe. Yeah. yeah. Hi, everybody that's just chiming in. Appreciate it. Yeah, hello, if you just joined us. Uh, welcome to the dark side. Black Widow's voice from The Punisher. Oh, Joanne, really appreciate it, buddy. This is... Uh, I've got to start looking up the lines fire. to bring with me because I'm trying to remember something <laughs> iconic that she would say. She was of uh, Russian. How do we descent. pronounce that? This name here. And oh, how do you pronounce? Oh, Yolanda Acres. Is that Yolanda? Jalen. Yolanda Seth. Jalen Seth Acres. That's what I see. Or Yolan. And I'm, I'm I hate Jaylen. mispronouncing I it's but it's, it's, it's with some of these. Um, it depends. Exactly where where, where, where the where cut is because it's all. But uh, I enjoy your work, Brian. Thank you so much. It's been a yeah. pleasure. It has been one heck of a run. Thanks for chiming in. I really appreciate it. Yeah. And you too, Jovan. Really appreciate it. Uh, you guys, some of the best fans out there. If we take Love a break, I'm gonna I'm gonna get yeah, Super Boo. Yeah, Super Boo. Go Ooh. Super Boo. 
<laughs> I don't want to make you do that voice, but would you do that voice? I would do that voice anytime someone asks. <laughs> uh, oh. I made go on cookie cutter for my science class. You've got a go hand cookie cutter out there. I do. Yeah. That's awesome. I know he was talking about it, but I was so excited. See, this 3D printer thing is amazing. I, you Can guys, you actor number three? if I get this cookie cutter soon, I'm going to make Christmas Gohan cookies. And I'll be first in line. You guys can have um, some Gohan cookies. Oh, wow. there's, a, there's a good job on the dub of Death Note. So can, that's good for all job. three of us, really. Good we job. Were, we were all involved that's in that. That's true. I was just, um, I was a very minor character. Well, weren't you like a... No, weren't you a sort of a major character in a, in a small portion? Yeah. And Brian, you were one of the cops, right? I was a gun. Yeah. 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 Like, well, <laughs> so you were sort of omnipresent. Bullies. But yeah, that was a that was a really fun show. To it do. was a really interesting show. Dark, but it was a so great dark, story. But, but yeah. A great storyline experience. To, yeah. To voice. Uh, yeah. I want to watch that again. Yeah. Patria White, Ian Corlett dubbed Goku for the TV broadcast, and Peter Kalamis dubbed mm -hmm. the video DVD release. Ah. And I appreciate that, Jovan, for your uh, appreciation of my work with Red Alert and Principal Kapratrick and Flint Trifactor. Uh -huh, Thank you. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mucho appreciando. How is Scott McNeil? I haven't seen Scott in a little while. Have you guys seen Scott? Not in a, not a I while. I miss Scott. I miss Scotty Scott. McNeil. I miss Scotty because he's he's kind of like family to us. Mm -hmm. We call him the other Dobson, the brother from another. <laughs> the, uh, uh, you know, we now when we record, even if it's on a prelay thing where there would be a, normally a big group of people, it's either small groups or one at a time because of COVID. We just learned something about you, Saffron. What? You're often doing voice impressions on TikTok. Uh, what? <laughs> Don't oh. go, don't follow me on TikTok. Do not follow me. Oh, I love it already. <laughs> uh, Barry did uh, direct uh, Funimation actors as well, correct? Yes. Yeah, I think I did. Um, that sounds right. Uh, then after that, yes, of course, Chris Sabat, director. What a great guy. I haven't seen him in a long time. Hey, Sparkle Energy is going to take your class, your dubbing class. I saw that, yeah. That's awesome. We'll see you. Thank you. And... She says, hi, Kenny. Hi, Jen. <laughs> you can poke your head on the line. Yeah, by any time. Hi, Jen. Here's Kenny. <laughs> we need to acknowledge Kenny here. He's yeah. done an amazing job. Kenny uh, Sam Gould, thank you, Brian. Hey, anytime, anytime, my pleasure. Ooh, that was loud. It was loud. I hope I didn't blow people's speakers if no, we had it too no, loud there. we just all quaked with <laughs> impressiveness. Um, uh, so yeah. for Saffron, it's good cuckoo. Can I hear, oh, Masenko, huh? As Gohan? Mm -hmm. I know, my son Koha is Gohan? Yeah, sure you can. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm trying to remember the movement. That was there a movement on. too? There's a. I think there was. She's a, good. There was something. I need, I need video. Roll the clip. There's no clip. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Melissa. Appreciate it. But maybe I'll go, my son Koha! Sticks. Except imagine the ha going. <coughs> I think that may have been louder than Ben. I'm just Ten saying. Ten more seconds. Yeah. Sorry, everybody. Sorry about your more ears. speaker damage. Um, there's their oh, there's the cookie cutter for science class. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Which Goku was? You are with us in spirit. Uh, uh, much to. appreciated. Yeah, that's. Uh... I know he's naturally higher pitch, uh, Richard Ian e. Cox, but. Did he pitch upward to Nazawa or decide to go lower register like Ian Corlett? Aha. <laughs> Vincent Tom. Hi. Yeah. Hi, you new Yasha actor. Hey. Yeah. So I've been asked what's for a special answer? request. I'm not oh, sure. what tell me, tell me. What is the answer to which? Oh, the, the uh yeah. The yeah. pitching of the voice. Oh. Right? You know, again I think it was more an attitude thing. Really? It was more of a character match and uh, more than literal voice match yeah i think that's that's the answer on that one again it's been a there while you have it for From something the director's so, mouth it's been a while and that, you know that would have been a pretty nuanced thing but i uh i think it would have been more of a character yeah yeah that uh, makes sense. attitude yeah thing, which really in the long run i think matters the most i mean sounding like somebody is one thing but actually being believable as a character is something Big else. Time. Yeah. Totally. Selling that's, it, that's right? That's really I mean, the secret. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. voice well matching said. is unfortunately something that happens in the anime world, you know. 
people move or move on or aren't available uh, when things come back years later. Or they cost later. too much money. Or whether, too yeah. Too much money. And uh, money. voice matching, yeah, you want to ideally voice match seamlessly, but that rarely is the case. Yeah. And it's sounding like somebody and being like somebody is are two different things. There's some people who, who great voice matches, but the performance just isn't a match. That doesn't hit the mark, right? So you, you want both, but I think you kind of have to... It's a little, often a bit of a compromise. I think yeah, yeah. performance yeah. should trump. Mm, oh, yeah. Good, good answer. Yeah, so sure. someone is asking what you think it takes to be a voice director. What you would have to do. What you would have to do to be a <laughs> Being in the right director. place at the right time. Mm. And be, I guess being decent at it. That helps, but you know. So where did that, you, that where did you come from as far as that? Did you come from acting or technical or what was your... Oh, you know I wasn't an actor and I'm not an actor. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, technical. I was. Uh, I I started out as an engineer, recording engineer, and then sort of fell into it pretty quickly too. Mm -hmm. I was mostly just sort of filling in and then filling in more and more than direct. I was. Did you engineer at Ocean at all before? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. The, 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 the way That's back. In the day. Yeah. But that was a long time ago. It was even a whole different different system. Setup, then. Right. Yeah. It was before Pro Tools. So. That's pretty amazing. Oh, yeah. that, that's oh, a story all its own. Tape. Not tape, but it was. Remember that screaming at the Remember the old? It was the DAR, the old digital workstation, the British machine. Oh my gosh! They're amazing. I love them, but they were oh, oh. they're expensive and they were they were trucks, bulky, bulky, yeah, and finicky. They crashed a lot. Oh. I think I remember crashing. They were, fun. I remember they were good. Crashes. I remember the crash days. Yeah, there was like, oh, we got to crash. Oh, you, yeah, yeah. We had some time. Yeah, that was so. Amazing. It does bring back memories. That's a long. Yeah, but uh, there's back. no there's no one way. I mean, a lot of voice actor or a lot of directors were actors, or yeah. sometimes it's like like I say, Barry did Dragon Ball the yeah. producers. Yeah. There's yeah. no one. There's no one sort of. Was he channel. really the director though? I thought you were still. Directing. No, this is after I think down in, in Texas. Oh, he was directing it in Texas. That's I what somebody it. said. I think I that's get true. It. I get it. I think that's right. Um, it's personality. It's just being able to, really, voice direction is being able to work with the actors and be able to get what's needed out of them. Yeah. Technically and artistically, so mm. it's it's really a personality thing, and being able to work in that environment with the engineer on a schedule and no kidding huh? yeah. that's really what it comes down to so there's no one discipline that is best to draw from and there's managing the client too right that's a whole that's yeah. a big part of it i'm sure yeah that's the yeah. That's yeah. part of it's a good difficult out. client you know I'm no sure. i think you've done pretty well with that i really do that's, that's the toughest part put it that way that's the toughest part i bet it is i've been asked the same to do with, oh go ahead sorry let's say same with voice acting there's i've in my experience over the years there's no one like, boy, like it's not like the best TV people make the best, you know, translate to the best white voice actors or theater people, or, right? Or stage. It's there's good and there's people from all sort of other avenues who get into voice acting or you know succeed. Mm -hmm. There's no one right sort of way to come at it. Yeah, yeah. everyone's got their own path, really. For and that's why I always find it interesting when students are are getting into this to to work with different people that have. Uh, made success at doing this because you'll find different um, uh, different paths of which are available to you to kind of create your own road you know and yeah, um, yeah I, th I think it's a it's a it's a good thing to do oh somebody asked me what was it like directing Black Lagoon I didn't direct Black Lagoon I was in it though I was too <laughs> <laughs> I've got a request to sh do a shout out for uh, now, is it Yolanda's, again, Yolanda's Acres? I'm, or I don't, I don't want to botch the way I'm saying it, but I whatever the case, Jaylen it's a Seth super boo Acres. call out. Boo want cookie. Boo get cookie now. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> What's well, a pleasure. That's oh, great. thanks, thanks. Brad kills it yeah, as like. I just saw that. Yeah. He does. He really does. That. What's, going, what's that? Yeah. In Death Note. Yeah, I would say Brad Swale on that oh, show. He as was, light? Yeah. He was so into that. He was just, he would come to session like with all kinds of notes and ideas and like, which isn't usually, the, no. You no, know, usually it's like, that's the director. Oh, yeah. But Brad was like, he was just so he's also, into that. And he did such a great job. He's a really good ta artist as well. Like he did this commission yeah, for Brad me. Yeah, Brad is an artist. Oh, is that Brad? Um, isn't that And neat? we would do a lot of cons where he would also, he would show up and have a commission, like an original piece of art that he did in oil or whatever he decided, acrylics, whatever. And he would donate it for a charity auction. And those 
paintings that he would give of anime characters and whatnot would go off. It was such a cool thing to see. Super great guy, very charitable and very uh, uh, talented. Mm-hmm. Hey, Brad. And- uh, Love's Darkness is saying, I was watching Death Note recently, not ready for the last two episodes, LOL. Not ready. Not ready? Yeah. As in, ha- haven't been able to watch them or not ready for what happened? Oh. I think not ready for what's about to happen, I'm not a... ready for it to be over. Yeah, yeah, that's sort of my first thing. Sounds like, yeah, sounds like appreciation. Don't sweat it with the autographs. It's yeah. okay. I don't see your... Oh, he's just saying, you know. Yeah, what? I don't see your call it end happily, but, you know. I when it's a show called I Russia. want to sign something, guys. I want to sign my Auntie Lofty and my um, Sky Wishes. Is it rude of me to sign early? Maybe. Yeah. I'll well, write it down. I'll put or it maybe down. not. Postal hang tight. You never know. If it chimes in at the right time, that would be, I'm sure. Uh... It's for it's for Alex, but I don't know if Alex ordered it. Okay. Uh... Yeah. Alistair Abel was also an ace from G.I. Joe. Yes, he was. Was Good Scott old Abel. in Dragon Quest? Was he not in Dragon Quest? Scott. I don't think so. I directed no. the first few of those, or first bunch. Mm-hmm. And then, not lately. Jalen, you're Probably amazing. Transform and roll out! <laughs> or transform and roll out. That was for that's for you, Yovan. Oh, yeah. Here's a question. Hey, Carl, do you think it's possible to get uh, somebody at Ocean to put a clip of Ocean Kai online somewhere? Uh, that's something. Being that it's technically not our property, that I know. would be like. <laughs> there's to put it mildly, there's no way in hell they would do that just <laughs> because of rights and you know uh, that sort of thing. Yeah, I think Ocean steers clear of any sort of That's their, misappropriation of the yeah. material. Yeah, they're huge on on the secrecy and protect protecting NDAs. the client's property. And it, fair enough, right? Why don't you just it tell is. us some secrets about Ocean then? Let's no. go. Well, let's okay, go. here we go. Actually, let's get Carl a drink. Do we have a drink? I've got a bottle of vodka. <laughs> uh, I mean, where the bodies Carl, are? Carl. No, no. Uh, Sparkle Energy has sent to, says, Carl, I can't wait to take your prepaid class at OTM. And oh, yeah, I saw yeah. Ryan Saffron, you rock. Hi, Kenny. You got a shout out. <laughs> yeah, I think we already did that. Yeah, are you going to be in person or online for that class? I think, oh, is that a, a class question. where they're doing both? That's a fine question. I haven't done one in a long time. So I'm not sure what's how they're doing it. I think I've heard they're doing it that way. I want to take your class. I'm getting asked. I want to take your class. <laughs> we <laughs> all want to away. We want to in Carl's class now. I need a pressure and I need Carl to teach You're starting it. something. <laughs> that's a, so that's at On The Mic. And On The Mic training is where we do some teaching here mm-hmm. and there. And Carl's got a... So it is an actual ADR dubbing No, class. no, no. It's the prelay class. It's the prelay class. Yeah, oh, that's the easier to do class. online. I was like, I don't know about It is. That. Dubbing would be tougher, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. No, I could use a prelay brush up. I'm going to sign up. Um, I if I get a discount for being an instructor <laughs> or not. Think about you just, that. You just lean on, lean on Mike and you know, threaten Mike, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there you I go. got his number. Yeah, absolutely. You, <laughs> you can take him. <laughs> oh, totally. <laughs> Mr. Dangerfield. Yeah. yeah. Mike, if you're out there, I, I will can never you? harm you. <laughs> but she could. I've been asked if I could do a Skeletor. Um, a quick uh, trap jaw, you metallurgical miscreant. Get me that ambrosia. And now, and while you're at it, finish that he man and the masters of the universe. <laughs> I had to. Sorry, I blast it out. I, I love that. Thank you. Sorry. No, it was good. I interrupted. Was good. No, it was good. It needed. I felt like needed you needed it. to be taken care of. Well, you know, you dragon balled me. You got some, right out of attorney. You got Thanks some for that. good villain voices. We just did what they call a <laughs> mashup. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Um, There's a couple of uh, mentions for Pauline Newstone as Frieza, who was oh, amazing. Amazing. She has a phenomenal voice. And then Peter Columbus at matching. Yeah, you know, the yells. Yeah. He was great too. Yeah. Um, you know what? Uh, Linda Young, uh, a Texas actress, did uh, recorded it down Pleasure. there. Frieza. She was. She's really oh, nice. Oh, I bet. We got to meet her in Texas. She's oh, a nice. lovely person. Yeah, really nice lady. What yeah. would someone have to do to be a voice director? We already did that. We did, didn't we? We yeah. are so behind yeah. in the chat. I'm trying to lag. I'm trying to catch up with everything here. Okay. And is Brad also a musician? Yes. I believe Brad is a drummer, if I stand correct. Thank you, Rita. Oh, yeah. He's a, yeah. I think a really good drummer. Yeah, he's quite, he's quite good. I'm fine. 
I think we may have jammed before, but I'm yeah. not sure. I'm a guitarist as well, yeah. and, and this guy plays bass and guitar. It's insane. Jam this Carl and I are like, threatening each other to play it. Next time session. we do a live, we're all going to have our gear hooked up. Because <laughs> yeah, there's room. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wow. No yeah, I'm, still yeah. To, I'm scrolling up here. Um, was Scott and Dragon Quest? We already did that one. You did, didn't you? Okay, sorry. Kenny, can you keep us current? We have problems. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scrolling as fast as I oh, can. Guys, has anyone met Lisa Ann Belay by any chance? Yeah, you know, once or twice. Yeah. Yeah, she was she was here for years and years, worked with her tons over the years. I know. Where is she now? They, uh, her and Jonathan moved to um, uh, Washington, D.C., I believe. Oh. Because she got a really good opportunity, and I forget exactly what it was for. I want to say it was at a university. Oh, that's so cool. Don't quote cool. me on that. Yeah. Don't quote. Yeah. That's great. But yeah, she met her many times. She's fantastic. Yeah, she was wonderful. A warm person. Yeah. Yeah. And oh. obviously intelligent, you know, even without knowing what the university offer. Did you get the question of uh, what was your favorite moment doing Vicky from Card Captors? Huh? Oh, God. There were so many. What was your favorite moment? Of Vicky from Card Captors. Ooh, That's what good, I, I love it. I love it. It's just, yeah, Card Captors. So yeah, somebody was talking about that yeah. the other day. That's very cool. Yeah. Carl, what was like directing Maison Eco? I just saw that. That was oh. that was a great. That was a great show. I love right. that. That was so fun. Just that finished show. the series. You're such an amazing show. Yeah, months and times before. Go ahead. We, yeah, I mean that went on for. We did a run of that, and then it was on production hiatus for a long time and then it came back for another run i yeah i really liked that show i really did it was fun that was we uh kentaro your kentaro Although we talked about that oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was yeah. a singing eater we used to refer to it uh because of the whole the, the uh the way it was sort of framed story-wise was the a misunderstanding that would Turn into other things. It was Three's Company, the animated series. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, okay. it was very That's similar. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah kind of, but it was fun. It was really great. Ellen Kennedy was excellent. Yeah, yeah, that was a really fun show. Yeah. That's awesome, uh, David. You're you're currently voicing there in Tanzania. So hey, uh, that's so cool. I love hearing that. You want me back as young Gohan? Make it so. I love Black Lagoon too, Melissa. It's so good. Mm. Black oh, Lagoon is a little so edgy. It was a little edgy. I've never. It's a little. Yeah, a lot of verbal diarrhea. Yeah, of all the, <laughs> of all the, um, dubbing work that I've done, I think that was the most. Yeah, and uh, yes, awesome. we know Ellen Kennedy as well. She's a sweetheart. She's lovely. She's yeah. fantastic. She's work also a singer. Times. Also a singer. Yeah. Mm. I didn't know that. Yeah, oh, yeah. beautiful singer. Jazz singer. I'm going to yeah. go see her at a lounge. What? Yeah. yeah. I love her. She's amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, my bad, Carl. Could have sworn you were the director for Black Lagoon. No, Everyone, I wasn't. You'd just I assume to be. it, wouldn't you? Why? I wanted to be. Why he does pretty he much be? everything. So he, for good Terry <laughs> Snellgrove. Oh! <laughs> Snellgrove! Really? I don't yeah. even remember. Oh. Yeah, I think it was Terry. Well, thanks for uh, being hard, uh, being easy on us, I should say. No. Elena, thank you for... James. Uh, James. 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 That's who it was in Corgal! James Corgal! Corgal! <laughs> right. That's right. Yes, it was James. Yeah. It was James. Then he moved on to Slug Terra or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, James, I remember that show. That was pretty crazy. Crazy, isn't it? It was at the ones that I would have... It was at all the Gundam shows that... I think he did the first one. They said, well, we should keep him in on it. We should keep him doing it. Right. So I never got to do a single Gundam show. No series. Gundam? And how many did we do there at that studio? You I were what? Like there was a <laughs> game. I don't even know. Oh, uh, yeah. I think I was involved in the video game, but not any. Oh, really? I, I did a ton of Gundam. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I did most great. of my Gundam away from Ocean at Westwood. Oh, okay. And that was Rob directing, was it Oh, not? did he do some of those too? Rob Bakewell, you're right. Rob what? Bakewell. And I didn't get to do that. Oh. I just, just like what I know. I don't understand how, what is the strategy when they don't use you on something. Thanks, it's, it uh, honestly often comes down to just availability. Well, because maybe you're, I mean, and, and mm. if everything else being equal, if it's you know, but yeah. <sighs> Sparkle old energy is doing a class with you in person, Carl. Mm -hmm. In person, nice. oh that's oh, great. In person, in person nice. is so good. It's way better, I think. Well, I guess online. I better hurry up and actually tell them I'm doing the class because they asked me like months ago and I never actually responded. Oh, <laughs> I better shoot. tell them. <laughs> oh shoot. 
I'm being asked if I had a favorite role. Um, it's, it's, that's a tough one because there's been so many over a lifetime of doing that. But of course, Skeletor, Ben, Red Alert. Uh, Keep them coming. Oh, a strange one from Trouble Chocolate. Um, ah! Professor Big Bang. No one I knows I was just it. thinking about Trouble Chocolate. You, you were on that too. I yeah. was. I don't know. I feel like I was almond I and I was That was Bakewell. Tea. That's right. I don't remember... I think, I, was Al- I think Almond was a little boy, maybe. Uh, you guys, I'm so sorry. I need to do more homework because that, that was, was a really, that was a fun show. But we can dance all of it, right? So we're recording like episodes at a time. Mm-hmm. And then we walk away and we come back next week and record episodes at a time. Well, and you might be doing consecutive shows. Do you come oh. in one week for one show, another week oh, for a different that show? that happens a lot. They overlap. Yeah. And you're like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, what, no. what show and what's my line yeah. what world am I in hello yeah. who am I <laughs> uh, thanks for checking out my, my website Yvonne appreciate it I hope you enjoyed it because that uh, was some work getting that together yeah your you website did a is fluid. Fluid. thank you yeah. Yeah. yeah I think it's Squarespace what is the best part about voice acting oh Ooh. gosh you go on yeah, my one. guess not being a voice actor would be Usually somewhere between nine to five and not getting rained on, maybe. There's a strong, yeah. strong part of it there. It's not being on set, not having to travel to the ends of the earth. It's just this this place where you can go in and in this creative world of where you often get a chance to make a decision as to where you're going to go. And if uh, you know clients like where you go and you get it, it's very gratifying having uh, the chance to voice these characters and, and lift them from the page and try and yeah. give, them, give them life. You That's know? So the most fun. It is, absolutely, isn't it? It's yeah, just, yeah. And, and, them to and this came up the other day, unlike a lot of other things, voice acting, well, it's just voice recording, the whole thing, it happens fairly quickly, so yes. there's not you're not waiting a long sure time. Like, no, it's you don't TV lose your or, motivation. You yeah, don't, you don't have to stand in the light for you're, four hours while they get the shot. It's like you're not stuck on stage where if you screw up your line, everybody sees it. Oh, you God, get the redo. Yes, yeah. but you're not waiting around like on a film set. And you don't have to memorize any lines; they're right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's funny good. actually. Thank I have a lot of people just like, "How do you get off book with this stuff?" And it's just like, thankfully, we don't have to be off book with yeah. this. Yeah, how do you remember all those lines? I'm... Yeah, but you know what I do try to do? Really well, is every line, every cue I get, I try to get a visual memory of each one that I do, so I'm not looking at the script i'm yeah. looking at the time code yeah. and i'm seeing the mouth flaps that i'm mm-hmm. having to sync right mm-hmm. so there is a bit of an art to eventually just doing a quick flash photograph of that the page to get because uh, i mean uh, you know i'll be honest sometimes i don't i can't do that and i'm reading it i'm, I'm yeah. it's like a hail mary yeah from point to get three beeps out of the gate and you got to try and tie up the sync from start a to you know yeah to the end um, for the best part, if you can take a visual photograph of that, you'll, it's really That's effective huge. to get through it. Uh, as if the you're voice, reading, then it's a bit of a wild card. Yeah, as the voice director, I can definitely say that that's something I always tell people who are learning. It's try and memorize the line as much as possible. Yeah. Because then huge you're actually difference. watching the screen and yes. you're tailoring your performance. Yes. Yeah. I mean, my, the director's job is to help do that. But if, it's, if you're doing... If you're there, I can. We can just make it that much. Completely, better. yeah. It is true. such a team effort between engineer, director, talent to to come up with a final result in the end of any one of your sessions. So yeah. there's there's definitely an art there. Yeah, but as Carl has said many times, it's we're making eighty art. Oh, yeah. seriously? I think I did. He did it. say that a lot. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. yeah. There's a good solid year. Eighty art. Yeah. Eighty art. art. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those good times. Well, wow, let's have a moment of silence with that. <laughs> oh. Ocean oh, I'm not paying attention here. Okay, hold on. What's going DBC on down here? More than the Funimation cast? Uh, we oh, Lito Jalen, shout-out. you are. That is, I don't. Well, we certainly had a great time. We really did. We respect the uh, Texas cast very much. And Funimation originally was up here with us. That was Barry. That was Barry. Crazy, huh? It was huh? Funimation. And mm-hmm. then it became more budget friendly for him to not keep traveling to vancouver i think yeah and and just politics yeah too, or, and you know, there's politics a lot there. and that's unions a lot. and all yeah. those things yeah all that stuff that is out of our hands that will drive away a client that is hilarious sam gold or says, draw in a client or draw in a client or draw in super booze a guitarist yes he is oh yeah yeah there's yeah. a whole mess of instruments just uh, you should yeah see. you should see the other room over that way. Oh, yeah maybe we'll take a tour later i'm planning to steal at least one on my way out oh, the, the, right. the guitars the guitars i'm trying to get carl in on a jam here so we can do <laughs> some shredding uh yes i like playing guitar uh yeah 
Did you ever get Ken Morrison to do an interview and live stream? Oh. I don't know. I don't know. Would, he, would he do that? I don't know. That, These things are always possible. Like Who that knows? Might, that might I'm be not like, going to say no. Which one of the seven signs would that be? I think it might be number four. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh impressive. <laughs> impressive. Um, okay, Saf, what do you like about Dragon Ball the most? Oh, oh. I think I like the... Well, I love the drawing. I love the Yeah, the drawing. art is pretty crazy. It's really yeah. neat. And the color. I really like... Yeah, I love the, co the drawing, the color. Um, but I also like the levity because there is drama but there's always an undercurrent of humor and um of not taking ourselves too seriously even though we're tough and we're fighting to the death and that was both the case in the booth and on the screen i feel am i right nailed it I, yeah nailed it show for that great show for that sort of hits all the notes if you know what i mean somebody mentioned here that lee tokar was frieza in dragon ball kai which i didn't know if that was a known thing or not, but yes, he was, and he was awesome. awesome. No kidding, right? he was excellent. I, I, I loved feel it. Feel like I didn't know that. In fact, he, there's a couple moments. I remember little things that he improvised that were just like my favorite. I can only imagine. I can oh, only like that's the magic that of those sessions when the improvisation happens <laughs> and, and something uh, unscripted comes out that actually works better. And those are that's, well, there was one, one little moment that just had us like in tears laughing. Where I think Frieza was in his little hover mobile. And he had to, like, you know, some evil villainous thing, and he he zipped off. Yeah. And Lee, Lee did a little, you know, had happy to destroy you all. Then he, he went, <laughs> then he went, zoom. zoom. <laughs> I love it. And it stayed in. It stayed in, and it was freaking fantastic. Of course it did. I mean, yeah. but that's the magic of these sessions yeah. that sometimes uh, true magic just pops out when it wasn't even on the page. And that's yeah. that's pretty cool. And it lives on. In, ca in case you can't tell, Lee, uh, Lee Tokar is a force of nature and trying yeah. to trying to direct him is kind of like trying to like grab onto a <laughs> a wild stallion and you know i can only yeah. <laughs> hold him hold him we've got yeah. him we've got him <laughs> there's a question here for you carl uh, and did you direct the metal idol yeah absolutely. okay what was it like metal voice directing uh, key um key the metal idol uh my months and times four what was it like wow well, uh, I'll tell you what, something about that show. It was in, it was fun. It was great. It was a really cool show. Um, interesting about that show is what happens in uh, shows in general in anime is uh, <laughs> you have your you have your core cast, and then they'll show up. There'll be secondary characters that show up, and oftentimes if they're just sort of relatively minimal of minimal line count, you sort of you you get somebody else to do it. One of the core cast to do a, 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 another voice, and you know it, it usually works out okay. And in that show, on the script, and we had very little guidance in this. We didn't know where it was going because we didn't have all the scripts at once. There were the there was the uh, the, the villain, John, uh, voiced by John Novak. Oh, John! Uh, yeah. yeah, and then there were the, his staffers A, B, and C. And it's like oh, we sort of like well, just they're throwaways. Give one to so and so, one yeah. one toss outs. Yeah, they had like maybe a line or two per episode at first. And then by the end, they all had like line counts of like 30 and 40. It's like, oh, oh. principal character. Principal counts. character. Yeah. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> Why didn't you let us know? That's happened to me in certain animes where I thought yeah. it was an incidental being thrown at me and I it know. turned out to be a big partner. They can literally have, you know, names like Trigger 14. And yeah. the well, next there, thing you know, you're. There was a certain show, and I bet you some of you know what this is. I'm not going to say it. Okay. Uh, where, and again, we don't have all the materials ahead of time that's being translated. We don't necessarily know what is going to, even how it's going to yeah. play out. Uh, and there was a certain show where we cast this young, hot-headed villain, Andrew Francis. Oh! And it was fantastic. Of and, Chesapeake Shores. And then we found out <laughs> much later on, toward the end, that, oh, it's actually a girl in disguise. Thank you for letting us know that. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! Thank you. We, would have been a nice little thing to know, you know. Mm. Voice over is like yeah. a box of chocolates. You yeah. never know what you're gonna get. So that was uh, that was being caught out, but it wasn't our fault. That is that too is funny. Really funny. That's funny. <laughs> oh my gosh! Did Don Brown play any characters in Dragon Ball Kai? I don't know. Oh, mm. Mm. Kai, I don't know about. I don't know. Well, I can't. He was, uh, oh crap! I'm forgetting his name. Yeah, I mean, he was the. Uh... Oh crap! I'm forgetting the character's name on the planet, the trainer. Uh, I'm going to say the wrong thing. 
Can I ask you another question? Yeah. That'll save you at this point? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Willems, how was the feeling to direct the first theatrically released film of Mamaro Husada? Best of luck. Pause. What? Sure. <laughs> uh, what's it was it Ma English? Uh, Mamoru Hosada. I, I'm, I'm gonna. All right. Oh, right. what is that? Wow, this wow, is wow. A, this is challenging. Is that change. where there was probably an English name? That oh, Melissa said knowing in capital letters. Yeah, she's great. She's one of the more natural characters that I've been able to voice. It's not the sound of a. Um, rodent or or a little boy so she was really a nice break for me in a lot of ways and she had a romantic storyline not as romantic as oxnard and pepper but romantic <laughs> oh, so, oh yeah uh, well hang on summer wars that wasn't uh that was summer wars that wasn't us that was the uh you're thinking are you thinking of the same director was it the girl who left through time was it the same oh I think well, Summer right. Wars was a, another. I've seen it, but I didn't direct it. Loving the Hearts here, which is a shame because it was really good. Um, you directed the girl. Who yeah, time, is that though. the one you're asking about? Mm -hmm. am, I making, or am I making a mistake here? You I tell just, us. I think that is correct. I yeah, wish the girl who left through time was that was really that was a unique one because that was a different feel from anything I'd ever really done uh, before at that point, and it was really interesting. That was. Uh, it was just a very, I know like the, the girl who played the lead, I can't remember her name, but she would yeah. never done voice before. She was an actress, but never done voice acting. It was her, but it really worked with that sort of, that uncertainty and that innocence. Yeah. You were on that one, right, Brian? Does yes. that bring it up? Yeah. 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 You were one of the, I can't remember, I remember what it was, but I know it was in there. players, yeah. Yeah. yeah so it was, um. Yeah. I really enjoyed that A while one. back. It was, that I was... really liked it. it just that. And one of the few that I actually watched uh, the final product after. It was beautiful. <laughs> it was a really beautiful. Just I remember that so well done. The soundscape, yeah. the space, and I think that's that that the, the Japanese director's that, yeah. his hallmark, that feel. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Of, of just place, beautiful. which was really really mm -hmm. nice. So uh, uh, I wish I could get more uh, ocean actors out to L.A. conventions. Yes, we Alex Walker Smith. I would like. Here we are. To head out to uh, same I time usually, zone should be simple. Yeah, I used yeah. to go to PowerCon a lot for He Man and whatnot too. But I would like to kind of hit up uh, an anime con of some kind. So if there's uh, some recommendations, send them our way. Yeah, or anime at least shout time out. machine is like a little package that you can bring, and we'll do panels in our PJs. We got some ideas. We've yeah, got great ideas. <laughs> <laughs> We're building a time machine. We'll bring that with us. Like that. Oh, what's that? The dynamic, yeah, we're we are talking shop. Pardon us. Yeah, we're definitely. Oh my gosh, shop. are we, we ever? It is. It is what we do. And I mean, unfortunately for you guys, what you don't see is a whole lot that goes on in between takes and behind the scenes. And yeah, there's a lot of outtakes. That's from what shows. has bonded us. That's why it's so important that you're here because if anyone <laughs> could really lean on what has happened behind oh those walls, oh my gosh, yeah, the it's Carl Wells. Yeah, the outtakes, the outtakes the beautiful, are ridiculous. beautiful outtakes and. And the things that go on, the pranks and stuff. Oh, I know. The pranks are I remember one of my favorite outtakes from Hamtaro was yours. Well, several. Like, <laughs> most of them are not repeatable. We really <laughs> let go. We really did let go. Some are not repeatable. No. Like most. I know. <laughs> and I, I didn't ask permission. Like, I would just. Oh, you just do it. As you know, I would just, it. it was just my first take. You roll a take and that just. be my first take. Peaks off, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's, it's nice to shock the director. Well, somewhere. no, it's oh, just. Oh, absolutely. Actually, sometimes you have to just get it out of your system, right? Like, this is going to haunt me while I'm trying yeah. to record a yeah. proper take. So yeah. let's just do this. Yeah. 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 Sort of yeah. ruin future takes. And sometimes I would say, literally, I'm so sorry. I've been holding on to a swear for so long. I need to do it now. And we'd be like, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and then we would, and then we would do that take, and we everybody would be fine, and we'd move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. But there were some uh, PG outtakes. Yeah, and then some some G outtakes. Yeah, yeah, G. Some probably, well, yeah, yeah. G. Yeah. yeah. Oxnard. Super, super the G. great thing about Oxnard the hamster is he was such a klutz. <laughs> oh, that was one of my favorite. This wasn't so an that's outtake. That's what was just totally. There was one moment. I think it was toward the end of the series of Hamtara where Saffron did. It was literally just Oxnard running and trips and falls. And she did this thing. I couldn't. I couldn't begin to recreate it. You just did this. Hey, hey, I'm drunk. No, boom! And you did this sound <laughs> that had us peeing our pants for ages. Every time we, every time we came back to it, recording somebody else, we'd watch it and we'd bust a gut again. And I was brokenhearted in the mix. I think it was kind of lost. It was there, but a little bit buried. But it was. I think 
possibly the best thing you've ever done. <laughs> That's so good. Everything else. That is so good. Throw it to the wind. <laughs> that moment. He was absolutely a really defining. funny hamster. What was like, your we, favorite? Oh, sorry. Funny hamster. What was, what's I was going to ask you what her favorite episode was from BLT, Saffron. Dragon Ball oh, BLT. I, That's from I David. Feel, I feel like the episode where, and I've posted it on my TikTok somewhere, a little clip of it, um, where Goku is like experiencing like falling off a cliff into the water and then goes to get his his uh well i need a fish he like comes up out of the water i need a fish or something or at lunchtime or something like that <laughs> and then he like gets up onto this little bank and there's a fish and his fish is hopping around he's like don't go anywhere it's lunchtime or something oh, I love and it. i just the innocence and the that was not my best goku but anyway the if you look at those first episodes where he's just sort of getting acclimated to his new surroundings and and in that episode i think he meets bulma as well which is great because he's carrying this big fish and and uh, <laughs> hits her car with it or something anyway he and bulma encountering each other is great now i realize there was a lot of pervy stuff that happened in that episode <laughs> uh in the oj and we did not do the pervy stuff and i was glad i didn't know about it until this year because i found out I she's like, just what? found out folks no i knew that they covered up goku's privates with like a chair right because they showed us how they did that like that yeah, chair yeah. did not used to be a strategically chair. And then Carl placed told me the actual what how the scene had been altered but i did not know kind of like the was it the home for infinite losers that whole thing mm the guys with hell on their shirts, but that wouldn't wash, so they oh, no. went through painted. It was the bad guys' cohorts, the comical bad guys. <laughs> yeah. And they yeah they changed hell to H-F-I-L, and they called it the home for infinite losers. <laughs> I think that was just purely... Uh, you got to do what you I can't you imagine the work that went into that. <laughs> I know. Though. I was I just know. thinking, like, the how painting. do you kill that one up? I know. Yeah. Ooh, so, which like, is funny as hell. Yeah. It's it fun, is funny, know. if you know it, if you understand. Yeah. But it is, it's funny, all those changes that were made. But those... Those episodes I thought were beautiful and innocent, and we uh, we redid them at Ocean. I think mm. I think we redid a bunch of it. Okay, wow. Yeah, I've um I've been asked to do another quick shout out to uh, Scarlett Devello 009. Oh, can you do my favorite quote from uh, Super Boo? So hot shot, you want to fight Majin Boo? <laughs> I hope that worked. I hope that served as well as I could. That was not small. Wasn't, I know. That's great. Oh, Barry Watson's brother worked on painting those edits? Yeah, he might have. And I think... Trippy Cascade. That yeah, uh, cool. yeah, I forget his name. I, no, I don't think I ever met him. It's one o'clock. I get to sign something. Anyway, keep talking. Ah, okay. This is for David, Alex. This is for Check it out. Look at this beautiful piece he's going to sign for you right now. Me. It's yeah. going down as we speak. Yeah. David, you've asked for a Dr. Giroux. Mm. I am looking for Android 17. Find me what I'm looking for now or pay the price. What was it like uh, recording Project Arms as White Rabbit? Awesome. Thank you for bringing that up. It was just such a completely different voice that I'd done uh, from the gambit of everything else I have in my repertoire. So it was it was a nice change not to go in and blow my voice out every session. He was quite an easy voice to do and, and quite relaxing uh, for that matter. So, uh, yeah, thanks for bringing back memories. I really enjoyed that very much. Anyone met by David Kay by chance? And we are all good friends with David Kay. 